Welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial series where we're creating a beat em up game in Scratch. And in this video, we're going to be adding um, health to our player and also going to be adding a losing screen. So let's begin. So to get started, um, if we go to our baby zombie um, and go to the bottom, until you see um, player take damage, um, you would realize that we haven't created a player um, or nothing happens if our player takes damage. And we want our player to be um, affected by our zombies um, if we get hit. So you can see here our player is just, you know, Superman in this, in this game and we do not want that. So in order to change that, um, we'll create a brand new sprite and the link for this sprite is in the description and this health bar we're just going to be importing the first one so health is zero percent and click open and then go to costumes and imp upload the rest so select the second one and then hold shift and select the last one and then bring this all in so now we're going to rename this to health bar okay cool so now we have health bar and we'll just code this now so first we need to make its position its position is going to be um, zero and to the y will be 157 okay and our variables these two can go away so we can see the health bar so now the code for our health bar um, so we'll start with when flag is clicked we want our um, we want to switch the costume to health 100%. So we need our health to be 100%. And then we're going to go to events and say when I receive player take damage, we're going to repeat. Um, where's the repeat? Repeat. Okay, cool. Repeat and select variables damage. And then we'll bring in an if else statement and go to variables player health we do not have that either so we're going to make a variable called player health um for all sprites and we're going to say if player health is greater than zero so you drag in player health and if player health is greater than zero we can go to looks and switch the costume to um and then bring in the minus operator and say costume number minus one and then if our health is less than zero we'll just duplicate this and switch our costume to health equals to zero percent so now let me just explain this code here we're just repeating this um as many times as the damage we received so if our bandit attacks us um we'll see that its damage is four um as you said we said the damage to attack strength so well, this is going to happen four times so our health costume is going to decrease four times and as long as the player health is greater than zero um and if it does end up being less than zero um it will still become the the empty health bar now let's go on to our player and we're going to create another variable if we just go to our when flag is clicked we're going to go to variables and we're going to set um our player health to two to not 200 but 20 and then click the flag and now if our zombie attacks us you'll notice that yeah our health decreases by two and our zombies um, attack strength is two so we're also going to create another variable and this variable is going to be called dead for all sprites and we're going to set um dead to false when the game begins we now need to add two new scripts in the game so the first one is going to be what happens when our player takes damage so um let's go to events and say when i receive player take damage so when our player takes damage we're going to need an if statement so we're going to say if um and then dead equals to false so we're gonna have to make sure um we're not dead 
when we're taking damage so if dead equals to false um, we're going to go to variables and change um, the player health so change player health um, where is player health yeah, we're going to change player health by um, the damage but we're gonna have to make the damage negative and if you want to turn a negative a number negative you multiply it by and now we just put this player health here or oh my goodness um damage and now we've decreased um our player health by the appropriate amount and once we've changed it we want to first make sure our player health is not less than one so to do that we just go to control and we say if player health is less than one so player health if player health is less than one then we're going to broadcast um player death so yeah we just broadcast that and um if we broadcast player death we'll just stop um other scripts in the so let's see when i receive player death we will stop um other scripts in this in the sprite so that's fine so now if we are not dead we will continue on with the script um we'll set our animation state to hurt and we're going to switch the costume to to hurt and we don't have that here so let's just upload the costume um from our mini boxing i'm just gonna import um hurt so the first one to the last we're just gonna import that um and while we're here let's import the rest of what we're gonna need this video so let's also import um when we're knocked out so this and the final one being um, if we're dizzy so let's just import this and go back to our original um, costume okay now let's continue with our script and we're going to say or not say but we're going to set our initial costume to being hurt now we have seven hurt um, not seven but eight hurt costumes so we're going to just repeat this seven times since we've already been through the first one and as long as so let's say if and then go to um operators and select the greater than operator and bring in the x variable and as long as x is greater than negative five nine seven we're going to change x change x by negative five and then we're going to set um we're going to set cam x to x and then call the position and then we're going to switch costume um right here so switch costume under the if statement um by we can just duplicate this and take this costume number plus one and then wait um okay um let's go to events and then grab here wait 0 0.0 0 0.05 seconds okay and after we're done with this we'll set the animation state right under this to idle okay now we're done with this script we we'll, we can go into our play death script so if our player dies we want to set um we need to set the variable dead to true and we can do this before we stop the other scripts in the sprite um now we're going to switch the costume to die um not not die but our character just gets knocked out and then repeat this nine times so repeat nine and we can just go here and copy this just duplicate this and put this here so yeah we'll just see our player get knocked out and then duplicate this and wait one second and then we're going to broadcast 
um, a message called lose game so this is when our player <laughs> loses the game and then we simply hide our player and stop um, everything else in the game so we just stop all okay now we just need to add um, a specific condition to our our scripts in the game because we we want it to be when we're hurt we're not able to punch um, I'll just show you what what I mean by that like you can see here we are getting hurt um, but when we're hurt we're still able to do the punch animation which is what we do not want so let's stop this and go to first to our define animation states block and we're going to create an if and then go to operators and bring in a and operator and we're going to say not twice so we're going to say not and then bring in two equals to operators um okay so we're going to say if um animation state does not equal to hurt um and it should also not equal to so let's set this to hurt and set this to dizzy so we're going to create another um effect later on in the game and this will just make this easier so we'll just set it to not to dizzy so duplicate this and put it um in this script first and then we're going to go to q and we'll just put this okay we'll just put duplicate this and put it um over the if q pressed so just drag this all in here and then we're going to say okay let's drag this away we're going to put this in um, inside the repeat five so if we're in the middle of a punch but get hurt um, we'll just cancel it so duplicate this put it here and then duplicate and put it here and by to duplicate you just right click um, on the on the if statement and then we also want to put this if statement right here so duplicate and put this here um, and put this here and we can set the animation state to idle outside and here yeah, we can do it like this that's perfect okay now we're done with this we need to move on to so let's drag this over here and zoom into this and we'll see if so just duplicate this and place this um, within the this statement and within this statement okay so just drag this in here um, now if we click on the flag let's make sure that we're not able to punch while being attacked and you'll notice that if you try to press on the attack buttons while Being, if you try to press on the attack buttons while you are being um, hurt, you will realize that you can't. So we can just keep this. Um, we can just delete it. So because we're, we're done with it, and now we're going to create another um, sprite. Um, we're not going to upload this, but we're just going to paint it, um, and we're going to convert this, make this white. set its coordinates to zero zero and call this the win or lose screen but for now we're just going to make it the, the lose screen um because there's no way to win yet but we just say win or lose screen and we're going to use the text um, um make it red and turn this curly and we'll just say you lose with an exclamation mark and increase its size put it in the, the center um, increase the size a bit more so the player knows it's a, it has lost and then we'll just say press flag to restart 
exclamation mark and make that we'll make this black and increase its height I mean size and change its its font to pixel and then make sure it's in the middle just drag it down like that okay so that's it with our loose screen there's nothing else to, to do um, except going to our code of course and we'll say when flag is clicked we hide this and we'll go to control and say when I receive lose game we're going to show it and then switch the costume to um, we need to name this lose screen um, switch backdrop to not backdrop um, but costume to lose screen and then go to front layer okay so that's all we need for our lo losing screen now let's see if our player um, what happens when they die So that's what happens when our player eventually dies and loses the game. Now we can go to our player sprite and we can add the feature that I was just talking about, um, which is our, which is the dizziness. Yeah, yeah, dizziness. So if we look in our first if statement, we see that we set um, attack active to true. Um, but what I also want to do is look um if so we go to events and say if um then we're going to go to operators and select not and then we just say or 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 so how many characters we have one two three four five six seven so we need seven or um, blocks so now that's one two three four five um, so one two three four five six and then that's seven okay so now he's gonna say if not touching um, baby zombie zombie just plug these all here um, if not touching goblin if not touching bandit, if not touching bat, if not touching um, mushroom, and if not touching wolf. Okay, so now we're going to set um, attack active to false, if that's the case. And we're going to switch um, the costume to dizzy um, as I've added we've added here already so we see dizzy zero 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 um and then we're going to set our animation state to to, to dizzy um and yeah that's the reason why I, i've added or we added all those extra um things so we want to make sure that we were not dizzy or we're, um, attempting to punch and good thing here is we can just duplicate um this right here so we'll just duplicate this repeat nine um and remove this and change this to repeat seven and we will place this right under the dizzy and then we just need to look if so duplicate this one more time remove its content um and we just say if not hurt because we can't be yeah we can't we don't need to look for dizzy we're clearly um are already so we just look if um not dizzy and then we do this um wait instead 0.1 seconds and we just put the weight first and then we at the end we just set animation state to once we're done with all this idle and now let's click play oh we're dead Okay, so let's go to costumes and at the beginning of the game, we need to set um, or switch our costume to, oh my goodness, 
we just switch our costume to idle and we also need to set the animation state to idle as well and now if we click flag we'll be able to walk around and the feature I wanted to create is if you punch with not nothing there um, you become dizzy so it just prevents the player from spamming the dizzy buttons and having them think a bit more before they you know attempt to um, punch so yeah that's it for this video thank you very much for watching please like if it helped and and to also help the youtube algorithm so you'll be helping um on youtube show the video to others and to help them as well so please subscribe as well so you don't miss the next video where we'll be adding sound effects and music to our game so stay tuned for that Bye.